Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us here again today at Bitcoin Exchange. This is Jay, and I wanted to bring out an IOTA update for all of our IOTA listeners and viewers and subscribers. IOTA is one of my favorite coins of all time for many reasons, and if you've watched our videos here on IOTA, they have great response from everyone in the community, and I really appreciate that. I wanted to do an update because summer of 2017 is over. We're now into the fall of 2017 and there's been a lot of things that IOTA has been doing in the background that you need to be aware of because this thing I believe when IOTA gets everything the way they want it to and and they get firing on all eight cylinders the IOTA coin is going to reflect that it's going to shoot to the moon so let me give you uh, some understandings here they are in their beta phase they have not launched and completely um, broadcasted everything that they're doing and uh, taking their position they are getting everything together and when they are ready they're going to get out of the beta phase into the launch phase and you're going to see the iota make a huge huge impact in the world now i have been uh watching the price of iota and i've put a couple of different price predictions out there that has taken some heat from some people others are all excited about it uh, some people are worried about market cap. You know, market cap doesn't mean everything. Um, people are looking at, well, there's 2.7 billion coins in the in the IOTA. It's just impossible to hit that. No, it's not. Not when you realize that in 10 years where this is going to take us. And this is why the actual coin is not just one coin, but it's an M-IOTA. And it is a, it's a lot of coins to take in, and that's true. But the Bitcoin breaks down to 100 million. Uh, Satoshi. So they know what they're doing. They, ha they have a vision not only for today or tomorrow, but it's going to cast them out another 10, 20 years. And what I like about IOTA is that they are taking their time and they're putting together everything. And this is what this page here is all about. This is I their blog, blog.iota.org. Uh, and just watch some of the people. Take a look. And you can view this at your own leisure at who these people really are. But the team that they are building, they're, they're building a team with specific individuals that they are bringing and hiring on and bringing into the team that is going to make the transition into the Internet of Things much, much more efficient. Here's Oliver. This is just over the summertime. Here's Anders, Vassal, Bartos, Danny Wu, Jeremy, Nick, Olivia and Paulo. Here's Lewis. Here's John, Julie, Alexander, Chris Dukakis, Andreas, Cyril, John, Jokin, or Jokin, probably. Quite a team for the summer hiring. And what they're doing is they are leveraging the things that they need done with the people that know how to do it, and that's how you build any good qualified team. IOTA is not really, in my opinion, concerned about the, the market value of their coin yet. Now, that does factor into it, but I don't believe that they're too concerned about it right now because they know that when they get out of the beta phase and they actually set their footprint down into the Internet of Things, and then people realize who IOTA is, and it's the backbone of the next generation of the Internet, that people are going to jump on board, and the price of their coin is going to reflect their greatness. And I'm telling you, folks, I don't care about market cap. People can argue until the sun rises again about the importance of market cap. It doesn't matter to me. All that matters is this is how many have been purchased, and this is how many that is, that is reflecting in the total market cap. People are saying it's going to be trillions. Well, we've heard that. Trillions is not a, a number that scares me very much. The United States is $22 trillion in debt, so it doesn't really matter to me about trillions of dollars, especially when you're dealing with an entire world coming into a crypto revolution. So I wanted to share that with you. And then we're going to have two other things I want to talk about here. Number two is uh, an introducing uh, a thing called Flash Channels. And if you don't know what Flash Channels is, you can read this again. It's on their blog, but... Some companies with dealing with blockchain are creating side chains to try and take care of smaller transactions on the side to not bottleneck the, the main blockchain itself. 
Well, Flash Channels is similar to that in that it's a private off-network transaction channel for peer-to-peer high-frequency transactions. And it's going to reduce the swelling and the bottlenecking issues that are, that are taking place uh, on the Tangle. Not so much right now, but as they launch this, they know that there are going to be issues with traffic on the Tangle, and they're making it already a place for private transactions to have their own channel and go peer-to-peer without any fees in, in seconds instead of uh, minutes or half hours and or whatnot as, as it gets bottled up. So Flash Channels is a huge, huge step forward in the IOTA uh, platform. The second thing, <clears throat> I guess this would be the third thing, is uh, the partnering with F6S. And the, they're creating an ecosystem <clears throat> within the Internet of Things. And they're partnering with F6S, which is the world's largest platform for founders, startups, and accelerators. And they're going to bring IOTA in as a partner because these this F6S has over 2 million startups and developers in their community whose particular focus is on the Internet of Things, the next generation of the Internet. And so IOTA is keeping with their vision, and they're adding members to their team, and they're adding now partners to what they're doing that are going to enhance the growth and the per perpetual movement forward, if you would, of the Internet of Things system. And this is going to solidify IOTA as the backbone of that system. So this is the FX or the F6S partnership, which I think is excellent. And then lastly, you know, there's a lot of companies coming out, and we've talked about this on other videos, with uh, their own private cell phones. Some of them have their cell phone applications like Centra. Some of them have their own private cell phones. And, just, and, and that's good, and it's going to be off and running here in the next five years, you're going to see this really develop, and I'm sure I'll do a video on this here in the next, I don't know, 30 to 60 days here. But nonetheless, there are companies like BitVault that's coming out in November, um, already backed up on their orders in 2018. This would be a good coin to have. We'll, we'll get into that as well. But this is a phone that's got its own vault, and and it uh, you can read all of it. It's an encrypted voicemail, encrypted video, encrypted emails, encrypted texts. Uh, and it has its own uh, Bitcoin wallets. There's five different wallets that they have on this. This is really cool. Then here's one called eChat. They've asked me to do a video. They're looking into it. I'm looking into it. Don't know if I'm going to or not. But it's out of China, and they have their own basic thing as well. It's called eChat, and the chats are uh, encrypted, and the phone's encrypted, and it's going to have some of the same similar things. What is interesting to me is that IOTA is not shying away from this technology. In fact, there's a company here called Siren. This is businessinsider.com that talks about Sierra coming out, Siren coming out with a Finney smartphone, and it's named after um, Mr. Finney, who actually was the guy receiving the very first Bitcoin transaction from Satoshi Nakamoto. And actually, you can read it over here on Squawker uh, with a guy named Hal Finney. And so they they're naming this. Phone, this encrypted phone. Let's go back over here uh, after Mr. F Mr. Finney. Now, it tells you here it's a secure peer-to-peer -peer resource sharing built-in cold storage crypto wallet. It's got a distributed ledger consensus. It's behavioral based as intrusion prevention system. It's a blockchain based, fully tamper proof. Um, it's blockchain based, but I want to show you some things about this. This is their main phone three-factor identification, authentication rather, if you would, biometric, lock pattern, and behavioral. So Sierra Labs have been looking to throw this out there, and it's going to be running somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,000. Now, there's another one that's going to be coming out of Panama that I'll let you know about here in a little bit. But what really is interesting and intriguing to me about the Finney phone through Sierra, and if you go over here to Squawker, back to Squawker here, it's going to tell you that the Sierra Labs is putting this phone together and one of the most important features is these devices will be powered by the IOTA's Tangle technology. And so now IOTA is going to not only get into computerized, um, uh, the computer world with Siren, but they're also going to be 
uh, Sierra will be utilizing the IOTA for their phones as well. So I think this is exciting and letting you know what, what um, IOTA has been doing in the summer of 2017 is there are some major changes happening behind the scenes. And when they get out of their beta phase and they get into uh, launching their main push forward into the Internet of Things, you and I are going to realize this not only in the technology that they're bringing to us, which is going to be fabulous, but also in the value of the IOTA token. It is going to go through the roof, folks. And this is going to take place here in the next uh, 6 to 12 months. Before you're going to hold on to that IOTA coin. And it's going to surprise everybody with what it does. So don't look at the market cap. I could care less about what the market cap really is. People are going to hit me with that and say, you're crazy. I've been called everything you can possibly think of, and that's okay. This is my opinion. Everybody has their own opinions. But market cap isn't everything, folks. I'm going to tell you what. What pushes the cryptocurrency world is supply and demand. That's true. But when you realize that in a few years, as the world's population and the world's businesses get into the second generation of internet that the iota coin is going to be the one monetary thing that they use in fact there's a video on it that talks about iota is more than a coin it could be a, mon a world monetary system and so they have put enough in storage to be able to handle the future of that so people are asking me why you know jay you think so great about a company with 2.7 billion coins is going to be so great. Well, I'm telling you, wait till you see the vision of IOTA roll out in front of you. Wait till the world grabs a hold of this second phase of the internet, and you're going to be really, really surprised at how well IOTA does. So I wanted to bring this update to you. Do me a favor, if you would, hit that like button. Throw me out a comment. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about IOTA and anything else that you would like for me to, to possibly look into for you, and I'll look into it and see if I can't get a video out on it. Again, this is Jay with Bitcoin Exchange, and I will see you in the future.